Now I should say that if we take this grammar here, and if I have uh, this function to define grammars, and if I write a function to parse, I can take this, and if I have an expression like mx plus b, it's going to parse it just great. Unfortunately, with this description just as it is, I would have a trouble with mx plus b with spaces in between it, because nowhere here did I say that spaces can occur between tokens. And in some grammars, you're free to put spaces everywhere, and in other grammars, you aren't. And if I want this grammar function to be useful, I should be able to uh, tell which is which. And so I'm going to show a new version of grammar that takes that into account. And here it is. And there's two things you should not about, notice about it right away. First is that I've added an optional parameter to say you can specify what white space is allowed in between tokens. Here it's saying S star is allowed any number of spaces, zero or more. And you could change that if you have a different type of grammar you're defining. Secondly, have a much longer documentation here, a documentation string describing what the language is. And third, I've added one more statement here, which says, if there are any tabs in the input, replace them with spaces. And why did I do that? Well, notice that I'm splitting here on arrow surrounded by spaces and an or bar surrounded by spaces. And if somebody had written something and used a tab there rather than a space, that would be really hard to debug. So I don't want to have to force them to debug it. I want to do the debugging for them and make that not be an error at all.